So do need to add to your question about how can we sort of achieve uh, more action and, and collective action. I think there's sort of two, two things to consider. Uh, one of them is you know, the role of politicians. Uh, and you, know, sort of, you, know, you could ask yourself, why do we have politicians? And some people think it's a rhetorical question. Uh, <laughs> but you know, we, we, we have experts you know, because we think certain things are outside of our area of expertise. We have doctors you know, to take care of our medical problems, lawyers to take care of our legal uh, system. Uh, and we have uh, civil servants or politicians to take care of our long-term strategic planning because you know, we have neither the time nor the knowledge to sort of figure out what is actually good for us, you know, whether it's you know, energy systems you know, or public health mm -hmm. and so ever. And so if politicians sort of, you know, sort of realize that they're supposed to increase public welfare rather than, and, 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 and therefore sort of leading the public rather than following public opinion polls, you know, I mean, you can expect that people don't like change, especially change that requires upfront sacrifice you know, for, for future benefits down the road. Uh, but when you change the status quo for something that actually does increase public welfare, the way Mayor Bloomberg did in 2003 when he implemented the smoking ban you know, in, in, in restaurants and, 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 and in bars, which had a huge public outcry against it, uh, but which, which actually went down to the time of implementation, but then it took nine months to become net positive again, public opinion. Now it's a poster child for any kind of thing, sort of mayoral initiative. <laughs> uh, similarly, uh, the carbon tax in British Columbia, which again was instituted in 2007, I think against public outcry. It was well implemented, it was revenue neutral, so you know, it was not money grabbing on part of the government. 15 months later, the premier got re-elected you know, on that platform. So I think one of them is sort of you know, to, to tell politicians that they ought to take responsibility for what they get elected for, and that they can do so when what they do actually increases public welfare. Maybe not in all situations, but in many situations. The second one, and I think many of your questions actually illustrated this, we need more information about what effective actions actually are. Because again, you know, as, as a general public, we think, well, recycling, mulching, you know, that seems like a natural thing to do. But those are not the most effective actions we hear. Population control, uh, uh, eating, you know, sort, of, you know, sort of reducing our, our meat intake, especially red meats. And so if, if somebody told us, if scientists, and not just the, the, the physical scientists, but you know, the biologists, you know, the, the economists, if they told us what the actions are in each domain of, 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 of business you know, or of, 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 of daily life that are the most effective ones, then well-intentioned people can actually do those things rather than to do their, their bid for recycling and then feel that they can check off that, that category.